One great feature in Affinity Designer is the ability to create raster brushes directly from a selection within your design, which is a huge time saver and a really quick and easy way to create some unique elements within your project. In this example, I'm going to create a confetti style custom brush and then use that brush to create a fun birthday card design. So let's start with the shapes I've previously made, which are all created by utilizing the shapes tool in Affinity Designer. And if you hold down on the triangle tool here, you can see many other options we have available, such as the tear tool, heart tool, and the star tool as well, which are all used to create this little selection I have here. I then simply added a gradient to each shape using the gradient tool, just to add a bit more variation to each of the shapes too. But for this custom brush to work, we need to convert these vector shapes into raster pixel images. So before I do that, I'm going to duplicate this layer by right clicking and going to duplicate. I'm going to turn that one off and then I'm going to right click on the duplicated layer and select rasterize. That is then going to convert that vector data into a pixel layer instead. Now if we switch over to the pixel persona via the persona switching options in the top left and then go over to the brush panel we have here. Now with that pixel layer selected we can go over to the top corner of the brushes panel and then select new brush from selection. So now we have a new brush, let's double click on that and look at some of the options we have here. So first of all I'm going to adjust the size and bring that down a little bit and then I'm going to change the spacing. Now for this to work in a confetti style I need this to be much more spaced out so something like this should be pretty accurate. I'm going to leave everything the same and then go straight over to dynamics. Here there are a load more options to choose from such as size jitter, flow and things like hardness and shape jitter. So one of the things I want to change is the rotation. So if I increase this to 100% you can then see my preview window has changed to match that rotation adjustment. Another thing I'd like to adjust is the hue as well. So if I increase this to 100% you can see the additional shapes that are shown are then given a different hue value. So what that does is just give our custom brush much more variation in the colors that are shown. We can also adjust the saturation and change the luminosity as well. But again, for this example, I just want to keep my full brightly colored shapes and just give them a variation as they're replicated. We can also change the texture with this panel too, or we can add sub brushes as well by adding a bitmap. This will give our custom brush even more variation and it's really worth experimenting with if you want to create a really truly custom brush. But I'm quite happy with those settings, so let's go to close. Let's turn this pixel layer off we made earlier. Add a new one and then go over to our paintbrush tool and start painting. And I'm actually going to increase the size by using the open bracket keyboard shortcut. And I'm going to zoom out a bit too. So now if we start painting, as you can see, our new custom brush very quickly covers the page. And for this example, I just want to really fill our square with lots of different shapes and really just give it that true confetti type feel to it. Sometimes it's also quite good to do this on multiple layers. So I'm going to add a new pixel layer again and just keep filling those white spaces and really just build that up to try and completely fill my square with our confetti shapes. There we go. And one benefit to creating separate pixel layers too is we can go up to our move tool and we can actually reposition some of these additional layers we've made. So if we want to add a bit more variation, that is one really easy way to do that. So now our confetti layer is sorted, let's go about adding our text layer too. And I'm going to go back to my designer persona and I'm going to click on the artistic text tool and let's click and drag to select our text size. This is for a simple birthday card design so let's go with something appropriate for that. So now let's turn that stroke value off via the color panel and let's drag our confetti layers inside that text. Let's also convert this text to centrally aligned instead and let's move it more into the middle. 
and just make it fit in our square a little bit more. And what we can also do is just resize our confetti layer just to fit into our lettering area a little bit more like so. Now I'd like to create a slight 3D effect to this text as well. So let's go over to the text layer at the top, press Command J to duplicate it or Control J and remove the pixel layers inside. And then let's bring that black outline back in and let's use Command and the open brackets to reposition that in our layers as well. Now I'm going to use Option or Alt to click and drag and duplicate this layer and just start to create a slight 3D element there. Now if I press Command J again or Control J I can use Power Duplicate to quickly create the 3D effect we need. And one last thing I'd like to do with my top layer including our confetti elements, I'm going to give that a white fill just to give it a bit more contrast from the 3D elements behind. Now let's select all of that, reposition again, and there we go. So there's a quick and simple way to create a custom brush from a selection in your design and then how to utilize that to create your own colorful confetti image too.